Eva, and I have been together for three solid years. We weathered storms, celebrated milestones, and built a life together. So when she started getting close to my younger sister, Brenda, I initially thought it was a good thing. Family is important. And seeing two of the most important women in my life bonding should have been a cause for celebration. But as the weeks went by, I couldn't shake off this nagging feeling. Their friendship seemed to cross boundaries. Late night phone calls, secret meetups, and the way they looked at each other. It was all too intimate for just friends. I tried talking to my friends about it, but they all said I was overthinking. But you know the gut feeling you get when something's not right? It was eating at me. So one day, I decided to see things for myself. I followed them to the mall, trying to convince myself I was just being paranoid. But then I saw them holding hands, whispering, laughing. It was more than just sisterly affection. And when they headed into a clothing store and disappeared into the same fitting room, my heart raced. I had to know. And when I opened that door, God, I wish I hadn't. The shock on their faces mirrored my own. But what hurt more was their reaction afterward. Instead of remorse or guilt, they lashed out at me, calling me names and questioning my sanity. After days of silence, Eva and Brenda finally decided to sit down and talk to me. I was hoping for some clarity, maybe even an apology. But what I got was a punch to the gut. Eva, after three years of being with me, decided she wanted to be with Brenda. Just like that, three years down the drain, I was devastated. I couldn't fathom how the two most important women in my life could betray me like this. In my distress, I turned to the only people I thought could understand, my parents. I laid everything out from the sneaking around the fitting room incident to their decision to be together. My parents were as shocked as I was. They decided to confront Brenda, hoping to get some answers. But when they did, Brenda acted like a petulant child. She threw tantrums, yelled at our parents, and acted as if she was the victim in all of this. And Eva, instead of trying to mediate or even showing a hint of remorse, she offered to take Brenda to her place for a while, further driving a wedge between our family. I'm at a loss. I never imagined my life would take such a turn. The pain of betrayal is one thing, but witnessing my sister and girlfriend's complete disregard for my feelings and our family's unity is something else entirely. I'm in disbelief at the unfolding events, and I'm not sure where to go from here.